Don't make me hit you again. Um, I'm building this dollhouse for my girls. It's their birthday tomorrow. I told my wife I'd get it done. I had the same exact one when I was a kid. Mom, Charles is hogging my dollhouse. Grandma bought it for the both of us. You want some help, big man? No, I can do this. It's just driving me a little crazy. Where do I fix the prince's tower, Boyle? Where do I fix it? Inside of the church. Now, now, Boyle. Let a brother breathe. Let a brother breathe. Somebody at the door. Hey, Sarge. Sorry about the mess. Hi, Cagney. Hi, Lacey. Hey, your kids like the same kind of cereal as me. Well, we just finished story time. I'm going to kiss the girls night night, and then we can get down to business. All right, time for night night, girls. He is so strong, but so gentle. He's like an enormous, muscular Ellen DeGeneres. You know what? I just want to let you guys know that I love you girls so, so much. Okay, so sleep tight. You know, Daddy will never leave you, right, girls? rock a bye baby. Gosh, really makes you understand what he went through. Excuse me, can I get a bottle of water? Good move. Giggle dehydrates the hell out of you. Yeah, I don't do that stuff. I don't even drink. Hey, your shirt. My daughters go to the Learning Grove. Did you get that from a vintage store or something? No, I went there. I was in the Dolphins class. And you don't do drugs or drink. Have a water on the house. Well, she was useless. Not entirely. I learned that my babies are on the right track because their preschool turns out nice kids. Yeah, I can't wait to tell Holt that at the task force meeting. Now, let's go look for some bad kids who went to subpar preschools. The good news is I can be brief about it. We have nothing. Sorry, I had to talk my twins into getting their hair done. There are some promises involving lollipops I do not intend to keep. Why'd you target us with your computer virus, Corey? I don't know. I was bored, and it was easy to break into your weak-ass system. It was like taking candy from a baby. Why are you giving candy to a baby in the first place? Don't give candy to a baby. They can't brush their teeth. Yes, Sergeant, it is unwise to give babies candy. <sighs> you OK? The fairy princess castle has defeated me. I'm a grown man with man hands and a man brain. I should be able to put together a dollhouse in less than four hours. Why does it have to be so hard? Look, this screw has three pointy sides. And nowhere to screw it in. And there's wheels. What kind of castle has wheels? I know everybody's worried about me being psychologically ready for this, but I promise you I am. No matter what happens, no matter how many bullets are flying, I'm gonna be right there in the middle of everything. I got your back. No, it's not even that, you know? It's just... Well, frankly, I'm not so sure that everyone at the gym is gonna buy you as a trainer. You've been sitting behind that desk for so long, you've gotten a little tubby, right? It's like love handle alert. Do you have a bone there somehow? Jake, I promise, I'm good. Oops. I gotta put this stuffed giraffe between my two girls. They both like to snuggle against his head. Huh? Here comes Mr. Snuggles! Here comes Mr. Snuggles! Parent of the year speaking, Terry baby, talk to me. Where the hell is Moo Moo? Oh no. I think Terry has a child named Moo Moo and we forgot to pick her up. It's not a baby, Jake. It's Cagney's Blankie. She calls it that because it has a little cow head. She said she had it in a minivan. Where is it now? Uh... Up down, up down, up down, up down, up down, up down, up down. Never let them play with the windows. That's parenting one-on-one. And Santiago, I can't believe you didn't stop it. I'm sorry, sir. I knew it was wrong and I did nothing, which is ultimately worse. Cagney can't sleep without Moo Moo. And if Cagney doesn't sleep, Lacey doesn't sleep. And if Cagney and Lacey don't sleep, Terry doesn't sleep. No, Jake doesn't live. Oh, my God. Where did you start letting them play with the windows? Uh, on 8th. It was close to the house. It better be. The sitter leaves in 10 minutes, and this is the last thing I need. OK, I'm so sorry about this, Sarge. Oh, and one more thing. I love you. I love you too, Jake. How'd you get involved in dealing giggle? Wait, 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 wait. We got to back this up. After preschool, did you go to private or public elementary? Private? When were you potty trained? That's so random. Sarge, 
the giggle pig. Don't you love your girls? So much. I mean, you should have seen Cagney this morning with the little braids in. <laughs> but they are a ton of work, man. If you are not totally 100% sure you want them, you won't survive. Is it really that hard? Yes. I never get any sleep. I'm always sick. I never get to watch anything I want on TV. I still haven't finished Breaking Bad, but I can recite Moana from memory. Maui, shapeshifter, demigod of the wind and sea. I am Moana. Why do I know that? I don't want to watch kids' movies. I want to watch movies for adults, adults and teens. And they are getting so manipulative. Yesterday, Cagney pretended to be hurt. I went in to help her, and Lacey snuck in the kitchen and stole two cookies. Oh my god, your children are monsters. Hey, those are my kids, man. Back off. Right. Feels like you're being a little harsh. Thanks. Good note. I was going for extremely harsh. I'll turn it up. Diaz, he's just a kid. Can't you just let him off with a warning? Sometimes being as tough as possible doesn't lead to the best outcome. This isn't Cagney calling Lacey a poopy head. I'm not just going to give him a time out. Time out? Are you kidding? Poopy head means no Doc McStuffins for a week. Terry hates bathroom talk. I bet you feel real good about calling her dancing a hobby, huh? Sarcasm. The cowards lie. I don't get it. Gina's always so sure of herself. She usually doesn't care at all what people say or think about her. Maybe not what most people, Captain, but she cares what you think. Fine. I regret what I said. But now, I don't know how to make it right with her. Lie! Yesterday, I told my twins there were baby bunnies in their stomach to get them to eat lettuce. And that worked? Yeah, but then they refused to drink their milk because they thought the bunnies would drown. So I bought a couple rabbits and told the girls that they hopped out of their mouths while they slept. I've lost track of your point. They ate their lettuce, I'm stuck with two bunnies, and lying works! He's already tagged three UC vehicles. You can clearly spot them. You should take my minivan. A minivan? <laughs> <laughs> you all got a problem with my minivan? Because my wife doesn't like it either. She wanted an SUV, but those things roll, man. They roll. I'm making my twins a picture book for their birthday. It's called Junebug and Cricket, Adventure Girls. Whoa, this one looks just like you, Gina. Yes, she is straight up gorgeous. And this one's definitely you. Look how masculine the clothes are. It's a suit of armor, pant suit of armor. The drawings look like you two, but only because it's easier for me to draw from real life. Look, the whole squad's in here. Tiny squirrel is Charles. The walrus is Captain Old. And the hippo with heads on both ends, that's Hitchcock and Scully. How do they defecate? It's a kid's book, Santiago. I called the Learning Grove. They never had an Ava Watson, so I faxed them a picture. They identified her as Rebecca Lubbock. I pulled her phone records, and I think we have some good leads on a possible supplier. Wow, nice work. And hey, you should never worry about your kids. You're the best dad I know. Cagney and Lacey are gonna grow up great. You think so? 100%. You're right. They're gonna be twin presidents. They'll either run as one person and trick everyone, or they'll run as two and serve for 16 consecutive years. It's a damn dynasty.